why can't you ask him okay please subscribe to my channel and like my video in this video we will learn about the most common linux log file names and their respective purpose you can access log files from a linux or unix like os from the command line interface with uh, while logging as a root most uh, log files will be under the where log directory so just this one but some desktop application will have them stored in a different directory so let's uh, see uh, some of the most common linux log file names and their respective purpose so first we are going to look at var log sys log so this stores uh, journal system messages and can include messages from various application and services i will just do cd to var and inside var we're just going to do now cd log and you can do ls here too if you want to uh, see the listing i'm just going to clear this up and now i'm going to use a more command to look the content of syslog and here you can see the syslog so now i'm just going to terminate this one and get out of it and look the next log file and now we are going to see the var log audit. I'm just going to audit. Move into that directory. Mm, let's see, we have audit directory here. So I don't have this one on my system, but what it does is store audit information for system activity, tracking, and monitoring. Clear this up and get out of this directory. Move out of log, or just gonna look at one more uh, file auth.log inside our log directory. So, this right, this file over here, auth.log, we're going to do ls to check if we have it on our system uh, so we have auth.log uh, this contains system authorization information including user login and privileges access requests so i'm going to do more on it and then we can just do clear get exit uh, need to exit from it and then we're just going to do clear now we are going to look at boot.log which captures all boot up message and is generated during the system initialization process so i'm just going to do more and we're going to do boot that one just for fun we need maybe to do and we're just gonna exit from here and clear. then we have cron.log uh, which records activities are related to cron jobs and schedule tasks. Let's see if we have it on our system. Let's do more on cron.log. Mm, so we don't have. If you have it, you can do more on it and look at the content of that file. And now we are going to look at dbkg.log. Uh, logs all dbkg debian package activities including package installations and upgrades 
Mm -hmm. If you have it, you just gonna do DPK GL. Okay, so just gonna do exit and clear. Then we look for current.log. Uh, keeps track of kernel related log information such as system calls and kernel module loading. So we add here more kernel.log. See if we got out and just and then clear. Then we are going to look at daemon.log, logs messages from system daemons, uh, which are background service that run continuously. So, yeah. mm, so we don't have this cleared. Then we have yum.log, uh, chronicles all yum package management, activities, and operations. You don't have that either. And then you can do for the mail log, uh, log messages related to email. That is mail log. Uh, and mail server activities. I don't have any email or mail server activities on my server, so I'm not just gonna do any more on that. Then there is HTTPD, uh, contains logs for web servers so, such as Apache or Nginx. And then we have MySQL, uh, contains logs for uh, my SQL uh, database server. So, to keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code, like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.